Hi, Steve Stein here, and today what I'd like to do is talk to you about something really important, which is learning how to combine both scales and arpeggio ideas into the same flow when you're soloing to make things a little more creative for you and for your listener. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's just look at an E major chord, okay? And it doesn't matter where you play it, just a plain old E major sound. Now, most of us, when we would go to solo over something like this, the first thing we're gonna do is go, well, where do we know E major, right? So you might come up here and play. Or you might go down here. And again, it doesn't make any difference. Any of those things are gonna be just fine. The point is, is oftentimes when we play, uh, when we're using a scale, everything that we play tends to sound very much like a scale and it sounds less creative like a solo.